Thank you for joining Wars of the Rosies as we continue with part 26, Adoption of a Mason's Son, from Book the Second, The Practice of the Mystic Tie by Albert G. Mackey. Part 26, Adoption of a Mason's Son. In the French Rite, the son of a mason is called a Moton, as among the English he is called a Lewis and is entitled to the privilege of being initiated three years before his majority. In many of the lodges of France, there is an interesting custom called the adoption of a Loton that is strongly characteristic of the brotherly love, which is one of the distinguishing features of the Masonic order. The proceeding of such an occurrence are thus described by Clavel in his work, which title appears on the screen. In these lodges, when the wife of a mason is on the point of her accouchement, the hospitaller, if he is a physician, and if not, a brother of that profession, is sent to her dwelling to inquire after her health in the name of the lodge and to offer his professional services and even pecuniary aid if it is supposed to be needed. Nine days after her delivery, the worshipful master and wardens pay her a visit of congratulation. If the infant is a boy, the lodge is especially convened for the purpose of proceeding to the ceremony of adoption. The room is decorated with leaves and flowers, and pots of incense are deposited in different parts. The child and his nurse are brought to the hall before the opening of the lodge and placed in the anteroom. The lodge is then opened, and the wardens, who are appointed as godfathers to the child, repair to the anteroom, accompanied by a deputation of five brethren. The chief of the deputation, in an address which he makes to the nurse, recommends to her not only carefully to watch over the health of her charge, but to cultivate his young intelligence and to make truth and good sense the subjects of her future conversations with aim. The child is then taken from the nurse by its father or some other relative and is introduced by the deputation into the lodge and conducted to the pedestal of the master, where the procession halts and the following conversation takes place. What brings you here, brethren? Ask the worshipful master, the son of a brother, replies the senior warden, whom the lodge is desirous of adopting. What are his names and what Masonic name do you propose to give him? The sponsor replies, he adds to the family and baptismal names to the child another characteristic one, such as truth, devotion, or benevolence, or some other of a similar kind, which is called the Masonic name. The master then descends from the east and approaching the infant and extending his hand over his head, employs heaven to make it one day worthy of the love and care which the lodge is about to devote to it. The incense is then burned. The sponsors rehearse after the master the obligations of the apprentice in the name of the Lotan, and he is invested with a white apron and proclaimed with due Masonic honors as the adopted son of the lodge. The master now repairs to his seat, and the wardens with the infant being placed in an appropriate position, he addresses to them a discourse on the duties and obligations which they have assumed as Masonic sponsors. To this the wardens make a fitting reply, and the procession again formed, and the child is reconducted to the anteroom and restored to its nurse. The adoption engages the members of the lodge to watch over the education of the child and, at the proper time, to assist in establishing it in business. An account of the ceremonial is drawn up, signed by all the members and transmitted to the father and is used by the Lotan in after life as a diploma to gain his early initiation into masonry, on which he renews, of course, these obligations taken for him in infancy by his sponsors. In the United States, where the York Rite is practiced with a nearer approach to its primitive purity than any other part of the world. This privilege of early admission into the order is not recognized. Here the Lewis, like every other candidate, must have reached the lawful age of 21 before he is eligible for initiation. 
There is something refreshing in this picture of the Masonic baptism of the Mason's child. We look with a holy reverence of the performance of this rite, in which a new and sacred tie is established by the father and mother through their child, with the fraternity of which the former is a member, and where, with the most solemn ceremonies and influenced only by an instinctive feeling of Masonic love, the members of the lodge become the fathers, the protectors, the patrons of their brother's son, and promise for him their help in the difficulties of the present time, their aid and encouragement in the hopes of the future. Surely there must be a blessing on the institution which thus brings forth, in the spirit of charity, protectors and guardians for the child, who cannot yet ask for protection or guardianship. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating towards of the Rosies. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.